Hey guys, Bill Reese. Some of you know me as Instinct Survivalist. Um, I kind of want to share, share a story with you today. We're trying to start this whole new thing, and uh, well, let's just uh, let's just start where at the beginning, right? It's a very good place to start. Anyway, um, when we look at kind of the business aspect of things, and the question always comes out, well, Bill. Why do you think you can start a business? You don't have a business degree, you don't have a marketing degree, you don't have this, you don't have that. And, and I know, right? I know. Um, <laughs> problem is, is I've tried creating several businesses and they've all failed. So what makes this one different? Well, I started realizing that there are people out there that are willing to help. Not in every aspect, but there are people willing to help. And I'm not talking about people willing to give you money to make a business work. I'm talking about people willing to help you to understand the plan, the vision, and actually accomplish those things. Now, some of them are for pay and some of them are for free, so we'll just go ahead and get clear on that. But the reality of things is this, is that when you look at overall where I started, what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do things, and, and the fact that I I didn't. I went to school for, for engineering or what started off as engineering, if you will. And, you know, even trying to sell things to kids at school, that just, it didn't work out well for me. Let's just put it that way. And a lot of it's because I just didn't understand. I didn't understand the sales process. I didn't understand what it was that, that needed to be done. I didn't understand all these different things. And, um, you know, kind of the, I don't want to say got made fun of by the business kids, but yeah, I got made fun of by, you know, folks like FBLA um, in school and then got made fun of in, um, in college by some of these little young entrepreneurs or the Young Entrepreneur Club or something like that. I don't know. Um, like you don't even know what you're doing. You, you don't know what an offer is. You don't know what the, the hook is or anything of that nature. And I'm like, okay, well then show me. <laughs> no. So I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that they kept thinking that I was gonna steal their ideas and, and I can see that. I can see that in a, a, big, a big point of time where somebody might think you're gonna steal their ideas. And I, I know in the real world, the, the corporate America world, we're always getting folks to sign a non-disclosure agreement or master agreement, um, M MDNA, um, to where they can't share any of the information out that needs to be shared out or, or that shouldn't be shared out, I should say. Um, and because of that, you know, I started realizing, well, I didn't know anything about business. I don't know anything about business. Um, I know how to survive. I know how to teach others to survive. I know how to um, sell products from a, from a corporate standpoint because it's something I've been doing for years. But there comes a point in time to where I don't want to work for somebody else, the man, so to speak. And when you look at it overall, the biggest factor of this is, is that I, I, I'm getting older and older and older like we all are, but the, there's more to it. There's more to uh, a 401k. There's more to investing in stocks and bonds and, oh, the company plan. And that, they're not going to take care of you. They're not. Um, and you're only going to put in what you get out uh, or only get out what you put in. Um, and some companies out there have matching programs. I get it. I understand. But the, the reality of things is this, is that when it comes time to retire, unless you physically built um, a plan, something like an IRA or uh, an investment plan, then there, there is no anybody taking care of you, right? You have to take care of yourself. So in doing so, what I'm on is this, this kind of a journey, if you will, and, and, and I needed that realization to say, you know what, you're gonna do this, you can do this, and, and get the full support of your family to go in and, and have a business and, and things like that, and, and the, the fear of failure, as well as the fear of success. And you may say, Bill, that's crazy. Why would you have a fear of success? Because, okay, so you did it, then who's gonna take it away? There's that, and then the other side is, oh, you're going to get too rich to to you know to do anything. Um, you're going to be no good, and you know you're not going to use it wisely, and things of that nature. And 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 while I hear it, you know, one of the things that my wife and I have always kind of prayed is, Lord, I'm not saying I'm going to be a great millionaire, but uh, just give me the chance to prove you right. You know, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, but the reality <laughs> comes down to. 
Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know if I'll be a wise investor. I don't know if I'll be a wise um, person when it comes down to business itself, but I know what I want to do, right? I know that I want to have my own homestead. I know that I want to be able to uh, take and retire and not work for corporate America for the rest of my life or until I'm you know 105 years old. And then the other side is being able to open up a, a school, a, a wilderness skills school or survival school, however you want to look at it, um, teaching a lot of different areas, but being able to take the money that I am making from my own business to give it to others. So there, you know, there are people out there that, that would love to go and get taught, but the problem is, is they, they can't afford it. And that's okay. And that's not to say that's a bad thing or a good thing. It's just a thing. Um, so we're, we're planning that, um, whether it's an adult or whether it's a child or maybe both, but it depends on a lot of this business and making it work. And so, um, what we realize is that the, the, the biggest part of it is being able to go in and not just have this, this hurdle to overcome of, of me actually taking and being able to financially afford things or financially quit my job, but being able to take it a step further and being able to pass that on to other people and can I do it I don't know uh, I'd like to think I can um, but again that realization that there are other people out there that are that are willing to help um, and a lot of the information and a lot of the stuff that I'm getting help on right this moment is free so you know <laughs> I'm not I'm not having to worry about a huge investment because I'm actually paying for my own investment I take a portion of each paycheck to pay for what I'm doing what I'm learning and the business itself so when I go and get the former formal LLC um, in a couple of months, then do I uh, am I able to do it myself? Am I able to do it on my own without having to worry about a small business loan? Um, am I able to take some of my money and bootstrap it and say, hey, yes, I will take and I will invest in ads. I will invest in a list. I will invest in uh, certain things that actually help you to. Uh, build a business overall, whether it's an email list, whether it's ads, whether it's a product, uh, whether it is um, investing in other products as well, or uh, you know something like that. I, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what tomorrow looks like. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't even know what tonight looks like. Uh, all I know is I'm sitting down. I'm buckled down and trying to make this this happen. So um, anyway, the whole the whole point of this this, <laughs> this message is to kind of invite you to walk with me right I'm um, not saying that you're gonna not saying that you're gonna need or help or do anything but uh, just watch see what happens um, and then you know every once in a while I'll, I'll be able to recommend some things to you and, and maybe at that point you help me out by investing in those and it may be something from an affiliate or, or something I'm an ambassador of or um, maybe a product that I recommend that that I think might help you depending on the situation so that that would be kind of the reciprocation. I'm not asking you to pay me anything, uh, but go buy something that you would normally buy. Just do it through me. Uh, it's kind of the way it looks like. Anyway, guys, uh, just that's the journey right now. So just keep uh, keep on keeping on and um, <laughs> keep watching for updates. I'm hoping to get this done every single day due to a commitment I made. Um, we're gonna do some kind of uh, media publishing uh, probably Facebook Live, but uh, more than likely, you know me, I'm leaning towards YouTube. So there's that, as well as uh, maybe a blog post in either instinctsurvivalist.com or on another platform. Uh, because I want to keep the two separate, right? I don't necessarily want to do Instinct Survivalist and give you all this business stuff. Uh, I want to keep it as, as, as natural as it is, which is why I made a playlist in YouTube, which is why I, uh, in that playlist, it's, it says business, um, I think it's business stuff or whatever. Uh, but it's, you have the option of clicking into there. You don't, you know, you don't get that by default. I mean, you get the little bell if you've subscribed, that's fine, but, um, you don't have to look at any of the business stuff. So that's, uh, that's totally up to you and that's okay. Uh, not a problem. No fuss, no muss, no, no worries about that. Uh, same with instinctsurvivalist.com. Again, I may put it on a different page, but more than likely I'm going to put it in a different medium when it comes down to business stuff. Um, I've already got uh, iswsllc.com. Feel free to go check it out if you're interested in this. Um, but that's uh, that's where I'm at right now. That's a, a blog. It's a WordPress blog. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, maybe using something else to, to point to uh, 
point ISWS LLC to that. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks for all you do. Thanks for likes, comments, subscribes, and curse words. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Comments. Comments down below. Don't forget to comment below. No, really, seriously. Comment below. I love reading them. Um, and then don't forget to share this out. Until then, use your instincts to survive. Thanks for watching.